very fun. Now, so the, all those vocalizations, even though their mouth may be open, um, like with all cetaceans or uh, dolphin species, um, all those vocalizations come from the blowhole on top of their head. So uh, only our boys and maybe one of the other whales have learned to make noises out of their throat, which is kind of a burping noise, so not anything they would normally communicate. But uh, they use, sorry, they use that blowhole on top of their head and manipulate the muscles around her like you would let her out of a balloon. So they can make high pitched squealy noises, they can rip very, um, and you can kind of see them if you look on top, the air coming out, uh, then manipulating those uh, muscles around there. Now other ways that animals can communicate with, with body language, you see Joe here kind of doing a mimicry behavior. He shakes his body, Katina kind of shakes her head. We can do that with their flukes. Uh, we raise our foot, they may raise their flukes. We stomp, they use their flukes, they learn. Um, and killer whales, just like humans, are very good at observational learning. Um, so they learn by watching others uh, in their pod. They learn by um, watching a trainer. Once we say, hey, that's my arm, it's kind of the same thing as your uh, pectoral flipper. So I move it, you move it as well. Um, so it's very cool, very fun. And that's some of the tips that we use to kind of train different behaviors. Um, right here, Joe, demonstrating what we would do if uh, they were up on the scale. All right, now he's going to go shake it around. There's Katina with her tongue. Sure. All right, so what we're going to do is now uh, we're going to kind of add you guys into some of the fun. Uh, so if you have a whale in front of you, we might move them around. Um, we're going to ask you to kind of help out. If you want to, stand up, and we're going to ask you to help with some of the different behaviors. So if you're over in the slide-out area here, we're going to ask you to stomp on the ground. So there's two ways that she can tell what we're asking. It's either by getting our knees up nice and high so that she can see over this wall, or you make a really loud stomping ground on the ground that she can hear through the cement into the water. So if you're ready, over here in the slide out area, let's go ahead and let's start stomping our feet and getting our knees up nice and high. And there we go. Good job, Katina. Very nice. And now over here, we have Shannon uh, in the middle. Um, and what we're going to ask is... All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to ask her to wave her pectoral flippers. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your hands up in front of you. And then all at the same time, on the count of three, we're going to take them, we're going to raise them to the roof, and we're going to shake them in the sky. All right, so out in front of you. We're going to wait until Milani's looking at everybody. All right, now go ahead. Shake those hands and raise them to the roof. All right, very nice. Um, and as you can see over on the other side, full, we have um, Molia and uh, uh, Mimi is her name, I think. <laughs> Mimi, our trainer. Um, so they're actually, uh, it's kind of a little bit of a learn session. So not every session is the same. So sometimes uh, we'll teach them new things and they really find them reinforcing. But, what we're working on right now is that she already knows this behavior, what we call a high zipper, where she kind of comes out of the water a little bit, and then she kind of belly flops down. And you can see, it's a behavior she already knows, but she has rarely ever asked in this pool for the behavior. We use it for our performances. And so, what that target pole that Mimi is holding, looks like a long Q-tip, is what we call a target pole. Um, and what that can tell, there's many different things that can tell an animal, but what that can tell them is a location in the pool to maybe do a behavior that we're asking them to do. So we have Morgan with Malia over on the right. She just asked her to do a zipper. And she's never done it back here, but we're telling her, hey, we're tapping right here. We want you to do it, but do it right here. We're going to see her, and there you go. And that is the zipper behavior. Normally it's a little bit higher, but because she is, we're asking her in a different area, we're kind of, you know, look, Great race period or race with her criteria, she might get a little bit higher later on, but she's still a little bit unsure, even though we're kind of letting her know. And then, as you can see, when she does it correctly, we'll blow that whistle. That's